What's up guys, it's Alex. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the shipping policy for your guys' stores and provide you with a template of your own. So you guys can tweak this around, change it to meet the needs of your own brand, or just leave it the same. It doesn't really matter. But I literally just pulled this off of one of my own websites. So let's get started. Okay, so I'll give you guys my shipping policy template in just a moment, but I just want to show you guys how to actually get it set up on your store. So on your Shopify dashboard, you'll just click settings in the lower left hand corner and then go straight to legal. So this is where you'll see all your policies. I actually have an entire video walking you through these policies like the refund, the privacy and the terms of service. But a lot of people actually were disappointed because I didn't cover the shipping policy in too much depth. So I'm making an entire video around it now. So. The shipping policy is right down here. This is where you would literally just type it or copy and paste from a template and just throw it in there and save. But to actually add it to your store, you'll want to go to online store navigation and then these are your menu items. So you, you would click add menu, uh, add menu item, and then you'll just name that whatever it is. So in this case, we'll just write shipping policy. And then uh, the link at the bottom, this is where you would post the actual policy. So under links, you'll go, you'll click policies. And there's no actual policies to add right now because we haven't created it yet. But once you do, it would say shipping policy. And then you just click add and you're good to go. So let's move over to the actual shipping policy right now and I'll walk you guys through it. Okay, so like I mentioned before, I literally just pulled the shipping policy off of one of my own stores. And it's not exactly as customized and personalized to my brand as some of my shipping policies are, so it should fit right into your own store, but you might want to change a couple of things around depending on your own policies and the way you guys can conduct business yourselves. So shipping policy is very important. I don't know the actual stats behind it, but there's a certain percentage of people that read them uh, before actually making a purchase and a lot of your abandoned carts can occur because you either have a bad shipping policy or no shipping policy in place. So you might want to look into some of those stats because they're very important and you can look for ways to drive sales additionally. But let's move into the actual shipping policy. So I'll leave this in the description below. You guys should be able to go through and just copy and paste this to your own stores, but I'll walk you through it really quick. So the first item we have on here are what locations do you ship to? So that's very important to tell your customers whether you ship US only, worldwide, or if you leave some countries out or whatever, but uh, what locations do you ship to? So I wrote all this up myself. It says, lucky, luck, lucky for you, we are currently offering free worldwide shipping on every order. Be sure to take advantage of this promotion before it's over. We normally offer free shipping on all orders above $85. We package and ship orders to nearly every country across the globe, but transit time will vary from location to location. So I added the kind of scarcity in there because I'm telling them once this uh, promotion is over, you're gonna to have to spend $85 to get free shipping and you guys can change this price point around depending on the uh, average order value or whatever prices you guys charge on your own stores. And then another important question that customers wanna know is how long does it take to arrive once shipped? So all orders are processed and shipped as soon as possible through many of our domestic and international warehouses, depending on the fastest shipping method available to your location. We typically take one to three business days for handling and processing your order. The typical delivery time frame is anywhere from 10 to 20 business days. Depending on your location, you might receive items much earlier. Please allow extra time during our busy season as postal delays are out of our control. Additional factors such as distance, customs, natural disasters may cause further postal delays natural disasters in there because uh, look where we're at right now this pandemic is making shipping times terrible um, tracking information including carriers are provided with every order every order is insured if your package does not arrive you are eligible for a refund or replacement please reach out to support at and then throw in your store there for additional assistance in this matter so that just answers uh, basically how long does it take and what is the process of shipping and everything. And then will I receive a tracking number for my package? You guys should be able to provide tracking numbers for all of your customers, especially if you have long shipping times. So tracking numbers will be sent as soon as we're able to ship your order. Sometimes additional delays may arise that are beyond your control, such as postal delays or customs inspections. Thank you for your patience and understanding. So if you guys don't send out tracking numbers, you can tweak this and say it a certain way but I usually have the email go out and send them their tracking number as soon as it updates. Um, what do I do if my order is lost in the mail? So that's another important thing because when you're first getting started out, when you're drop shipping from China, a lot of orders will be lost in the mail. And this is why you wanna find an agent 
a private supplier or just ship out orders yourself because you don't want to run into this issue all the time because you're going to deal with a lot of refunds, a lot of chargebacks and all of that. So. Each order will be sent with insured shipping and handling to prevent lost packages. If your order happens to get held at customs, lost in transit, or returned to us for any reason, we have your back. The postal service is out of our control once your package leaves our warehouse. However, in cases like this, because the packages are insured, we will send you a new package with priority shipping and full tracking if possible. Please see our refund and return policy for when these might be applic applicable to shipping situations. So that just answers another important question. And then um, a lot of times certain countries will charge your customers like import fees or taxes or anything like that. And you don't want to be responsible for that. So just go ahead and put it in your shipping policy. Otherwise it might fall back on you. So just tell them all prices on our web, web page are displayed in USD with all taxes completely covered on our end. Uh, if they're in another currency, make sure to put that on there. However, depending on your location and laws in your area, you may be liable to pay for duties and taxes once you, once you receive your order. Import taxes, duties, and related custom fees may be charged once your order arrives to its destination, which are determined by your local customs office. Please seek additional guidance based on your location and the associated import laws. And then just talks more about that. So, uh, The last thing I have on here are extended delays that are out of your control, you want to put that on there just in case you know your customer's order is taking a little too long or it's sitting in a sorting center for longer than you want it to be. So, In some instances, the delivery time may take longer than our policy states. If this is the case, please contact us as soon as possible and we will do everything we can to help you resolve any situation that we have control over. So, This just answers some of your customers' most important questions as far as shipping goes and just lays it all out on your website. You want to be transparent, you want to be honest, and you want to let them know how the process works. So this template should answer any questions that your guys' customers may have. So if this video helped you out in any way, go ahead and drop a like to help me out and subscribe as there's plenty more to follow. I have two e-com resources linked in the description below. You're welcome to check out either one of those. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.